Understanding snow banks are high. A deep dive into English phrases. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we simplify English for learners across the globe. Today, we're exploring a phrase you might have heard but not fully grasped. Snow banks are high. It's a simple sentence, yet it holds a lot of context, especially for those not living in snowy regions. Stick with us as we break it down, and by the end, you'll understand not just the phrase itself but also how to use it in your daily English conversations. First, let's dissect. Snowbanks are high. A snowbank is a large pile of snow, usually formed by the wind or by snow plowing. When we say they are high, we're talking about their physical height. Essentially, this phrase is describing a situation where the snow has accumulated to a point where the piles are tall. It's a direct and vivid way to convey the aftermath of heavy snowfall. Understanding the phrase requires some context about regions that experience heavy snowfall. In these areas, it's common to see snowbanks along roadsides, driveways, and sidewalks. They can become so high that they obstruct views or make it difficult to move around. When someone says, snowbanks are high, they might be highlighting the severity of the winter weather, expressing concern about safety, or simply making an observation about their environment. Now, how can you use, snowbanks are high, in conversation? It's perfect for talking about weather conditions, especially in informal discussions or when sharing experiences about winter. For example, expressing concern, be careful driving, the snowbanks are high and it's hard to see around them. Sharing experiences, I couldn't believe it when I visited Canada, the snowbanks were so high. I felt like I was walking between walls of snow. Making plans, we might need to shovel our driveway again, the snowbanks are getting high. Understanding phrases like, snowbanks are high, helps in learning more about descriptive English. It's not just about the weather, it's about using specific conditions to convey broader meanings or emotions. Other similar phrases include, the sun is blazing, to describe a very hot day, or the leaves are turning, to talk about the onset of autumn. Each phrase paints a vivid picture of the environment enriching your conversational skills. And there you have it. Next time you hear or want to use, snow banks are high, you'll know exactly what it means and how to incorporate it into your English conversations. We hope this video has shed some light on this phrase and perhaps even sparked an interest in learning more about descriptive English. Remember, Understanding the context and usage of phrases can significantly improve your language skills. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you in our next video.